So first off, with regards to any prospect, if you really think about just sales in particular, when you think of sales, right, like us as salesmen, our profession pays us based on how much we sell, based on how good we are at sales. And this is the upside to being in sales, but also it is the reason that justifies the risk of you know why some are in sales and why some simply are not. Now, logic is really what actually puts you away from sales, right? Logic is what reminds you that not everyone can handle sales because logic stands in their way. And so, you know, just like in the last episode, how I mentioned logic actually holds you back from achieving your true potential, logic can also kind of sway you away from what you truly want. And I wanna share with you, logic is what we believe as information, as education, right? Like we utilize logic to filter a lot of the buying decisions that we make, right? Meaning that we use logic to justify why we bought certain things. But all salesmen should know that people buy, we buy, everyone buys to find a solution, right? To solve something. And it could be anything, right? Like it's whatever we decide that we believe we need to solve. And so you might be like, well, D man, what about Gucci flip flops, dog? Why would you buy Gucci flip flops? How does that solve anything, dog? Well, it solves something by upholding your status, by investing in your status. And so we believe that if we had Gucci flip-flops, then just the idea of having expensive sliders, right? Like these flip-flops are not something that you wear in a business meeting, right? These are just PJs. This is just something you have at the house. But if you were seen in public wearing Gucci flip-flops, some $300 Chanelas, when you clearly have the option to buy some Chanelas or slippers, for as low as like five bucks or a couple bucks, right? But you went with the alternative to buy Gucci flip-flops. Well, the reason why you do it is because you're trying to find a solution, a solution to give you confidence, to give you the status of baller, right? Like, oh, this guy's cool, he's a baller. To each his own though, right? Like if you ask your grandma, your grandpa, or your parents, like, hey, you know, why don't you wear these Gucci flip-flops? They'll probably tell you because based on their logic, their logic's a little bit dated, right? Their logic is based on their generation. And so, you know, they may be a little bit more conservative and so they have logic when they give advice, right? Like they're not necessarily giving you advice based on their emotion. But I want to share with you though that the prospects that we engage with are really interacting based off of an emotion. It's not through logic, right? Like unless you're talking to maybe someone, let's say an accountant, or an engineer. Those individuals are a little bit more logic oriented because they need to know how pieces go together. But, you know, for the general mass, it really has to do with just them trying to solve a problem. 